Five o'clock. Got it? You got it. All right. Call this meeting to order. Are we going to do the pledge tonight? Sure. sure. All right. Let's do it. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. So we are... We are going to get straight into reviewing the draft warrant articles um, right out of the gate. If, uh, if anyone has any questions, feel free to, uh, to approach the podium and, and I'll call on people at any point because it'll be easier than trying to have a section up front or whatever. Yeah, right. So we're, we're officially opening a public hearing at 5.01. Uh, on the warrant. Uh, we'll start with the first first articles here is, is pretty boilerplate. Uh, this is Article 1, election of officers uh, to elect the following town officers which appear on the official town ballot for the ensuing year. Select board, one position, three-year term. Town clerk, one position, one-year term. Library trustees, two positions, three-year terms. And cemetery trustee, one position, three-year term. Any comment from the public on that? Seeing none, we just want a motion, and you don't we need have to. We just we'll just accept, the, we'll just do it at the end. No, the first uh, eight petitions are. We don't even have to. All, we don't have to do anything because they're all just. With. You can just skip right over them if you wanted to. Oh, okay, I, I am going to skip over the. Well, not skip over, but I'm not going <clears> to <throat> read out the zoning amendments. Those all come from the planning board, uh, and figure anybody who's interested in those. Uh, should be following the planning board. Uh, so that's zone, that's articles two through uh, two through eight. Zach, yeah. one um, correction that we have in that that was found today by Joseph the planner is on article seven, zoning amendment six, open space residential district, DIST. That district should be replaced with development. Okay, so the word district will be struck and replaced with development? Correct. Okay. Just in the title. Can I make a make an observation that in Article Six, multiple buildings on a single is there's missing the. We don't have e. enough space to put oh. all the extra letters. Oh, okay. Well, then ignore me. <laughs> Sorry. I can. Oh yeah. Nope. Okay. Well, that makes sense then. Okay, so we're going to skip down to to Article Nine, which is the first uh, article. That's a petition to warrant article. So this came in uh, through citizen petition. They have to get 25 signatures, which are verified by the town clerk, uh, and then put on the warrant. Um, this particular article came in uh, with is this the right one? Yeah. So it was. It came in from the from the constituents, and it says. Um, we're petitioning the town of Plymouth to approve to increase the veterans tax credits from the current $500 to $750 per year per RSA section 72 colon 28 and 72 colon 28 B optional veterans tax credit and all veterans tax credit. Uh, and the article as they have it written uh, is shall the town vote to approve the increase of the veterans tax credit RSA 72 colon 28 to allow for the increase of the veterans tax credit if approved would increase from $500, $750 annual tax credit on residential property to all honorably discharged veterans that qualify under the current requirements as of April 1st, 2024. Um, we did take this one to uh, our attorney Radigan and he, he requested that we reword that slightly, um, not changing any of the intent of it, um, but to make it more legally binding. Uh, so we, we do need the board to suggest and agree <laughs> to the language that's been um, in front of all of you today okay I'd like a motion to accept the change in wording to ref as reflected here okay so this is the corrected language yes the corrected lang language is written here on on our draft yep okay. and I'll read that cor corrected language <clears throat> uh, we still need a second though Oh, second. <laughs> so that that corrected language just says, uh, shall the town vote to approve the increase of the optional veterans tax credits and all veterans tax credits per RSA 7228 and 7228B to allow 
that the increase of the veteran's tax credit, if approved, would increase from the current $500 to $750 annual tax credit on residential property to all honorably discharged veterans that qualify under the current requirements as of April 1st, 2024. So just a little cleanup of the language there. Make sure we get all the RSAs included, those kinds of things. And the discussion about the changed language. Just wondering the last time we had an increase in any I've been here um, 11 and a half years it's and never I haven't changed. seen anything. Okay, thank you. We did have an all veterans credit that was approved a couple of years ago or last year, but that was it. Okay. No increase. All right, so on the adjusted language, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Um, now, does anybody have any questions or comments about that petition to warrant article? I do have one question. Um, do we have any idea how many people currently qualify for that credit? We have 97. So the effect of this increase is roughly $24,500. Okay. Any other commentary, public commentary input? Seeing none, uh, there is a, the other thing that we should decide on as a group is do we, do we support, do we oppose, do we abstain uh, our opinion? Do we need to, uh, I think, uh, petition warrant, it's just like. No, we, petition warrant, it doesn't matter if it's petition or not. Um, it does have a value okay. to money. Um, and it's been recommended by the attorney that the select board make a recommendation on both of these petitioned articles. All right. What do we think? I'm in favor of it. As am I. Yeah, favor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think I agree with that consensus. Okay, I'll make a motion that the select board recommend this article. I'll second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, that brings us to Article 10, another petition to warrant article uh, in regards to uh, ballot counting. So this one, um, I'm trying to find it. So I was just gonna read the written thing that came into us. Uh, to the town of Plymouth, New Hampshire, we the undersigned duly registered voters of the town of Plymouth, New Hampshire, hereby petition and apply for the insertion of the following petition warrant article. Shall the following provisions pertaining to elections be adopted? All voting shall be by paper ballot and all ballots shall be hand counted only rather than use of optical scanning or any other types of programmable electronic counting devices. This shall con constitute a return to hand counting ballots and the immediate discontinuance of all electronic voting machines and electronic devices authorized for use by trial in RSA 656 colon 40. Shall this article be passed? It shall be enacted by the town of Plymouth immediately. Um, and I think we have that verbatim in the warrant article. Yep, we didn't adjust any of that uh, discussion around that warrant article. I personally don't see that yeah. I would want to I'm recommend. I'm not in favor of that. I'm not in favor. I don't understand why. <laughs> well, people distrust electronic you know, vote counting. Sure, but how long have we had electronic vote counts? It's 2007. And have we ever had a problem, concern? No, and I, you know, the thing that strikes me, and, and Amy, I would love for you to speak on this as well. Um, the thing that strikes me is we have the electronic voting machines, but every single ballot that goes through those machines, we collect those, we store those securely in, in tamper-proof boxes, and we hold them for seven? No, so it depends less on now? the type of election. It's either 22 months or for a federal okay. or 60 days. Um, right. So either way, there's, there's, there's ample time. time for people to say, hey, we think something happened here. And literally every one of those could then be re-inspected. Um, yeah. And it's always an option to challenge um, an election with the Secretary right. of State. And then the Secretary of State would reach out to us and we would accommodate whatever they needed and hand them over the ballots. Yeah. And the other piece that struck me having sat through roughly 10 of these elections with the machine, which certainly other people have done more, is at the end of the night, one of the, the first thing we do is we count those physical ballots that have been tallied by the machine to make sure the machine's count matches the ballot count. 
on average, it takes our volunteers three tries <laughs> before they can get that number right. So if I imagine extrapolating that to 15, 16 votes on the ballot and trying to count those each. Uh, it would be there. Not only would we be there, the, the accuracy would go down rather than go up. So if, if you're looking for fair and accurate elections, machines count these things much more effectively and much more efficiently than humans. And if you have any doubt about it, we got the logs. We got everything. It all can be, it all can be inspected. So I, personally, I'm, I'm not a fan. I think we are, we've already vocalized, right? We're pretty much yeah. that we are. I, I just want to say that I've worked on elections prior to having the machine, yeah. and uh, I, I would not look forward to working on elections without the machine. Well, I'd like to say I, I have too, and I recall like uh, saying there's like midnight. Well, this past election wasn't that that much different, but it'd be um, worse. Okay, okay. 11.30. 11.30 has <laughs> yeah. been pretty typical yeah. recently, but It's yeah. bad enough. Yeah, it's, yeah. Bad, it's bad enough. Now, when you're there at the polls for over 12 hours, it gets pretty tiring. Yeah. And you make more errors the later it goes. Right. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Uh, Amy, any other comments? Yeah. Any comments from the public on this Warren article? Mr. Halloran. be very brief. I've seen a lot of elections in about 40 years in the town of Plymouth. I think we do it very, very well. Um, and, and as everyone has said, um, the backup is always there. Um, so I, I don't see the need for this uh, in the town of Plymouth. Thanks. Thank you. Any other commentary? All right. Uh, we need a um, recommend or not recommend. I'll make a motion that we not recommend this article. I'll second that. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. On to our the rest of our articles. And now, I, I say this more for television than, than the staff that's in the audience, which is most of our attendance. But um, the way our articles end up being laid out is it's often a little bit complicated. Um, we, we try to make it as simple as we can, uh, but we are restricted anytime we're drawing money from a fund, uh, you know, one of our capital reserve funds, these sorts of things, uh, to, to fund a, some initiative. It has to go on its own article. So. We can talk about the budget, and we do, right? And we group it by departments, and, and we discuss it in that way. But then when you have, uh, oh, this department is going to use $50,000 from this fund to fund a thing, well, now we have to take that piece out of the general budget thing, make it its own article. So uh, on first glance, if you haven't been through this much, it feels kind of complicated because you're like, why? why do I have a firefighter as a standalone thing, but maybe I don't have a, you know, a different person or a different individual. And so there are rules and there's, there's things that we have to follow. And Anne uh, does this very diligently and, and works with our contacts at the, at the state to, to get this all correct. Um, but we, we do have some things that make it a little bit more complicated in the way we present it here. Hopefully the, um, the budget hearings we've had in discussing the numbers uh, have made it make it easy to follow what we're actually doing and the and the budget sheets uh, they, they're here tonight but also if if anybody's listening and wants to get them off the website come into town hall uh, all of that's that's still available to you but um, the articles themselves can sometimes be a little bit harder to follow okay I'm gonna go through this and I assume I should read all of these given that people are on TV? Sure. Yeah. All right, Article 11, General Government and Department Expenses. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $9,795,601 for fiscal year 24-25 general governmental and departmental expenses <laughs> as follows. Salaries, fees, and expenses, Selectman's Office, 296593 Penny Baker TV, 98906 Election Registration Vital Statistics Town Clerk's Office, 171,578. Financial Administration, 336,234. Reappraisal of Property, 77,000. 
Contract services, legal and others, 192539 Personnel administration, health, dental, and FSA fees, 1085286 Planning and zoning, 173717 Land use enforcement, 45986 General government buildings, 79000 Cemeteries, 79333 Miscellaneous insurance, workers' comp, liability, and unemployment, 243510 Advertising and Regional Association, 7308 Police Department, 1625145 Police Dispatch, 528070 Ambulance, 1360178 Fire Department, 506658 Emergency Management, $7,100 Street lighting, 65,000. Recycling department, solid waste, 597,426. Pemmy Baker, solid district dues, 5,000. Health office, 10,000. New Hampshire Humane Society, 7,725. Welfare officer, 16,075. Welfare vendor payments, 50,000. Recreation programs, 395,413. Parks and grounds, 256,885. Library, 469,991. Patriotic Purposes, 6,200. Other culture and, culture and Recreation, 13,100. Conservation Commission, 7,000. Care of Trees, 10,000. Infrastructure Bond Payment, number nine, approved 2016, 207,882. Infrastructure Bond Payment, number four, approved 2020, 280,625. Library Expansion Project Bond Payment Number 14, 136982 2023 South Main Street Construction Bond Payment Number 1, 265735 2023 Solar Array Bond Payment Number 1, 80421 uh, As written, the Select Board recommend this warrant article with a majority vote required. Any discussion from the public on our general gov governmental budget? as written. Anything from the board? No. Feel good as written? Okay. All right, Article 12, full-time fire EMS personnel. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of 118743 for the purpose of funding one additional fire EMS employee. This cost includes pay and benefits for one position. Select board recommend this article. Majority vote required. Any public comment on that article? Discussion from the board? None. Article 13, police parking. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $79,525 for the purpose of funding the fiscal year 24-25 police parking department and to further authorize the withdrawal of $30,000 from the parking special revenue fund to offset this appropriation. The balance of $49,525 will come from taxation. The select board recommend this article. Any questions or comments from the public? <clears throat> Anything from the board? None. Article 14, police school resource officer. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $148,825 for the purpose of funding the fiscal year 2425 police school resource officer. This appropriation to be offset by $111,619 from SAU number 48 school system. The balance of $37,206 to be raised through taxation. The select board recommend this article. This one's interesting because it's, this isn't a new position. This is an existing position that uh, we just we put it on the warrant every year to get it reauthorized because of the again the funding relationship with the uh, with the school system. So, not a new position, just a, uh, a continued funding of an existing position. Any comments from the public? I have a public comment. Yes, please. Yeah, I just want to say that um, our resource officer at the elementary school is fantastic and. We appreciate her and all that she does for the elementary school. Thank you. Anything else from the board? Nothing. Article 15, Highway Department. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $1,267,568 for Highway Department and authorize the withdrawal of $25,000 from the Muni Transportation Enhancement Capital Reserve account created for that purpose. 
the balance of $1,242,568 is to come from general taxation. The select board recommendation, select board recommend this warrant article. <laughs> we'll typo there to fix. Question from the public? Comments from the board? Nope. Article 16, Plymouth Municipal Airport, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $13,933 for the purpose of funding the Plymouth Municipal Airport with said funds in the amount of $7,000 to come from the Plymouth Municipal Airport Special Revenue Fund. The balance of $6,933 to be raised through taxation. The select board recommend this warrant article. I got on that recommendation, didn't I, huh? <laughs> just, on, just on those two, Anne. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, comments from the public? Anything from the board? Article 17, police cruiser purchase. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $65,000 for the purpose of purchasing and outfitting a police cruiser and to further authorize the withdrawal of $32,500 from the police detail special revenue fund. The balance of $32,500 to come from taxation for the purpose of the purchase of this vehicle. The select board recommend this article. Any questions from the public? Questions or comments from the board? Article 18, capital projects. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $775,000 for the purpose of funding the following capital projects for fiscal year 24-25. Landfill monitoring, $10,000. Improved road construction projects, $225,000. South Main Street project, $500,000. Highland Street improvement project, $40,000. Select board recommend this article. Comments or questions from the public? the board none seeing none uh, article 19 fire engine lease to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of 161,945 dollars for the purchase purpose of funding payment two of a five-year lease payment of a fire engine as approved at the 2022 town meeting the select board recommend this warrant article any com comments questions from the public from the board Moving on, Article 20, Ambulance, Ambulance Lucas CPR Device. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $22,078 for the purpose of purchasing a Lucas CPR device for the fire and ambulance departments. Select board recommend this warrant article. Questions or comments from the public? From the board? Article 21, Highway Plow Truck Purchase. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $140,000 for the purchase of purchasing a new plow truck for the highway department. Select board recommend this warrant article. Comments from the public? From the board? Article 22, Building Needs Assessment, Fire and Police. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $35,000 for the purpose of allowing the select board to conduct a building needs assessment for the fire and police departments. Select board recommend this warrant article. Discussion from the board, from the public? Seeing none, Article 23, Police Taser Equipment Lease, to see if the town will vote to authorize the select board to enter into a long-term lease purchase agreement containing an escape clause in the amount of $56,185 payable over a term of five years for the purpose of purchasing 16 tasers and to raise and appropriate the sum of $11,237 for the first year's payment for that purpose. Select board recommend this warrant article <clears throat> anything from the public from the board article 24 police body cameras lease to see if the town will vote to authorize the select board to enter into a long-term lease purchase agreement with an escape clause for the amount of thirty-seven thousand dollars payable over a term of three year for police body cameras and to raise and appropriate the sum of three thousand eight hundred dollars for the first year's payment for that purpose the select board recommend this warrant article from the public. From the board. Did you make the, the, edit, the, the, did you make the, the edit to years, year. year to years? Oh. Which one? The yeah. one we just read. Three read years. years. Yeah, pluralize the good point. Three years. Thank you. Anything else? 
Article 25, capital reserve deposits, to see if the town will vote to add to the cap existing capital reserve funds under the provision of RSA 35 colon 1 for the following purpose and raise and appropriate the respective sum totaling $42,500 to be placed in said funds. Conservation Commission capital reserve, $5,000. Town revaluation, $20,000. PBTV, $17,500. Select board recommend this article. Anything from the public, from the board? Article 26, nonprofit and health agencies. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $77,400 for the purpose of funding the following nonprofit health agencies for the 24-25 fiscal year. Pemmy Baker Home Health and Hospice, $20,000. Genesis Lake Region, Lakes Region Mental Health Agency, $5,000. Transport Central, $2,000. Grafton County Senior Citizens, $17,000. Tri-County Community Action, $5,400. Voices Against Violence, $2,000. American Red Cross, $2,000. Pemi Youth Center, $8,000. Katie, Communities for Alcohol and Drug-Free Youth, $5,000. CASA, Court-Appointed Child Advocates, $1,000. Pemi Bridge House, $10,000. Select Board recommend this article. From the public board all right and the last article on here is the the typical one we always have which is article 27 other business and to transact any other business that could legally come before the said meeting on march 13th 13th yes march Wednesday 13th, 13th. <clears throat> 7 p.m 7 p.m at plymouth elementary school where we always have it any other questions, comments, concerns about the warrant as written? Seeing none, I will close the public hearing. It is some time that I don't know because I don't have my phone. 526. It's 526. Okay, I have two other quick, two. very quick things I wanted to throw out. Uh, one, we have a candidates night that's been scheduled uh, for February 20th at 6.30 at Pease Public Library. Um, that, again, that's, you know, we've got four, uh, four open positions that uh, are up, up for election. The first is the select board position. Uh, it's a three-year term. Uh, we currently have uh, we have three candidates that will be on the ballot. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, David Clay, uh, Malik Hammond, and uh, Ted Wisniewski uh, running for re-election. Uh, then we have, the, and of, of course there's always an option for write-ins. Uh, for the town clerk, we have um, a single uh, one, one-year term, which is up. Uh, we have a single person on the ballot, and that is Amy Lee. For library trustees, uh, we've got a vote for no more than two, so two open positions, both three-year terms. Uh, the only person on the ballot for that is Charlene Whitman. Uh, so there's a, a write-in opportunity for anyone looking to get involved as a library trustee. Uh, and then for cemetery trustee, we have one three-year term, uh, and Tara Bryson is, is running for that particular position. So please, uh, Join, join everyone on candidates night and, and meet those candidates. All right, the other announcement I wanted to make is the planning board and the housing opportunity planning program, program housing opportunity program, the HOP committee, uh, will be having uh, an overview of the zoning amendments evening. So for people who have questions or concerns or wanna understand w what those, uh, seven six seven? seven seven those seven amendments are all about uh please come and attend on march 7th at 6 30 p.m and that's here that's correct uh, that'll be right here in this room uh here at town hall for those online uh at again at 6 30 p.m so so come learn about the um zoning amendments and i assume they'll have some sort of handout or something which they typically try to do uh for election day as well um and with that, I'm through everything that I have. Any, anything else from the public? Thank you all for being here. Motion to adjourn. Oh.
still have to sign stuff, right? We, still have to have yeah, we, we technically can't adjourn until we've okay. signed, but uh, but I, I like the spirit of it. Um, <laughs> so for everyone who's here, Anne is going to go downstairs, make those small typo edits on the warrant. She will come up. It won't have the word draft on it anymore, and the five of us will sign the thing. Um, and that's literally all the business that we intend to conduct for the rest of this evening. So go go home and make dinner. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. All.